What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Here's my key. Philosophy. A freak like me just needs infinity. infinity. Great morning, everybody. <clears throat> Day 15, crazy. Um, I just wanna show you, for those of you that watched that, watched the Rise Up I did the other day when I showed you the sign that somebody put on my window called asshole, I carried around with me. <laughs> I carried around with me every day. I actually carry it in my journal right here. Um, just as a reminder that, you know, sometimes Maybe I need to check myself too. Anyway, great morning, everybody. <clears throat> you know, yesterday I did that whole, you know, process of showing you how I how I rise up in the morning and everything. And, uh, you know, that wasn't just yesterday. I did it again today. And, uh, you know, I find myself maybe a little bit less hyped about it because I was going to tell you about it yesterday. But it works every time. It works every time. So... A um, couple of thoughts this morning before I get into, uh, you know, what's going on. Um, you know, I woke up this morning. It's interesting. Now, for those of you that are not just observing but participating in this and also kind of paying it forward and, and cheering other people on and, and helping others, you know, I, I realized, like, I've been doing this for over two years, you know, and, and now we've got the shred going and, and you know, I'm getting a lot of feedback and, and, and I, I very often look at myself and, and ask myself, what am I doing? Like, what is, what is my role in this? What is my purpose and stuff? And how do people perceive me and stuff? I mean, you can't not do that, right? Um, so, you know, it makes me realize uh, that by doing this, I'm taking a big risk because what I recognize, and I don't know about you with your shred and stuff, it's like every day, it's like I almost look at the day before and it's not good enough for me to just do what I did yesterday. Like I'm always seeking improvement, which is cool, you know. Um, but it's a, big, it's a big responsibility to take the role of being somebody that's leading by example in life. Whether it's in this shred, which I'm doing, I guess, on a big level. But we're all kind of doing that in life. And I, I understand that when we take that role, when we become that person in the eyes of others, our kids, our peers, our coworkers, our clients, if you're a coach and stuff, um, it's a big responsibility and there's a lot of risk because, you know, like I said, if, if you're taking a lead and the leader stops, the perception is, is that the followers will have nothing to follow anymore. So in that space, I, I, just, I just recognize that, um, the person that is benefiting the most from any process is the leader. So be a leader today. Be a leader in your life and step into that zone. And also, um, if you've never done one of these rise ups, I want you to reach out to me today. And if, if you are seeing that I'm pointing at you and it scares you, then it means that you need to. So let me say hi to everybody. Hey, John Failing. John Failing is back in action. Love it. And we are checking in every day. Hey, great morning, Heather. What's up, Christine? Mish. Robert Follett. Call me today. Call me today, Bubba. Sandy, Camille, Jason. Jason Santana's part of the part of the crew now. Teresa. Great morning, everybody. So um every day we get oh yeah. So anyway. I was, I was thinking a lot about the, the difference. I actually 
journaled, but then I got this new idea and then wrote this whole new thing out today. By the way, if you're not journaling, if you're not sitting down with a pen and writing stuff, you know, it's unbelievable when you start to put your thoughts on paper and, and they and they just start to flow. You know, like I said, I, I, I had this great rise up plan for today and then this morning in my process and listening to positive stuff, I came up with a new one and it just felt like it was more appropriate. So, you know, this, this idea was that every day, every day, because we have this 28 day shred and very often the perception is, is that it, it that the, that the goods, that the, the, uh, the win, the victory comes on the 28th day. So it got me thinking about the day to day process. What are the wins every day? You know, and what's the value of getting up and doing it every day? So every day we get to define who we are and what our existence represents by our actions, right? I told you yesterday, I think it was yesterday, this idea that we always say patience is a virtue, but then I, I threw that other idea that action is a virtue. So what's the value of getting up and doing something every day? Because sometimes if, you, if you're focused on the outcome of what's gonna, what, what your win is gonna be, your weight and all that stuff on, on the 28th day, then you lose sight of the value of the day, the process. So that thought process right there reminded me that what I really get to do is define who I am to myself, to the world, to the universe, and also to my kids and to you guys. Um, so there's so much value in the day-to-day -day process. Um, another thought I had, and this is kind of a sidetrack, um, is that I, have a, I, I feel that as humans, we have a tendency to collect people, concepts and ideas and experiences too quickly, meaning we collect a lot of bullshit every day so quickly and we let them go too slowly. So it's just this idea that as we're moving through life, we have this, I, they, we have this ability to collect a lot of bullshit, but our mechanism of letting it go is too slow. So we end up with more bullshit than we do not. Totally irrelevant, <laughs> I just wrote that down. Okay, so here's my focus for the day. Oh yeah, and then the last thing is, is I was really excited because when I went to the gym today, there's this, there's this woman that goes to the gym that makes me look like a sissy. I mean, she just works out so hard and she's here every day and I was so fired up that I came in today and she wasn't there and I'm like, she took a day off and I didn't. <laughs> so are you focused more on the outcome or the process? That's the idea, and I want everybody to appreciate what your, what your process is right now. There's so much value in it. So if your focus is on the outcome, your life will be spent and passed by for this time. It'll be, you, you'll, you'll miss the process because you're so focused on the outcome. And in fact, I think that's one of the reasons we quit on the process so much. Um, <clears throat> passed by for, uh, for this time when you perceive that you'll get what you want. So, but where is most of your life spent? Where's most of our life? Remember, what we want to do is stop not trying to die like most people and starting to live. We choose life. And life is, is like, where do we spend most of our life? We, st we spend most of our life in the process of going after our goals. So let's look at the process and the value of the process today and not just put all the value on the outcome right? Because we spend most of the time in the process. <clears throat> so on outcome or process. So the process is where we spend most of the time. So today I ask you to think about what you are working on in, in your life. What are you working towards in your life in physical and mental and financial, right? Because because those things in that you're looking at those as the outcome, right? And then so, you know, it could be better physical, better mental, financial well-being. Are these goals only defined, are your goals only defined by the outcome when you step on a scale, look in the mirror, feel, feel more confident, or see the bank account grow? You know, think about it. If, if all the value of your shred and everything that you do in life is, it, if it's all about the outcome, you're missing the whole process and the value. And by putting value on the process, what happens is, is you get up, and you go after it with excitement. It's like, it's almost like it, you get to this place where you're recognizing the outcome is happening along the whole way, you know? And sometimes we get so attached to outcomes and if our belief system on a, on a bad day or one of those days is that the outcome's not gonna happen, then we're gonna quit. 
But what I'm challenging you to think about today is, is you're in the outcome right now, right? And we'll, we'll talk more about that. So, or can you embrace the fact that by engaging in the activities of the work, right? You're doing the work, right? That is an outcome in itself. There's value, you know? Sometimes we say non-scale victories and things like that. But if you, if you just take a, a, a moment today, in this day, day 15, to recognize that you're, you're getting wins, you're getting a win right now. Those of you that are watching this live or those of you who are watching it later. And remember to share this stuff. That's a win right there. Every time you share this information with somebody else and wake them up to the opportunity of, of being in a world like this, don't be scared to share this with other people. They're gonna think you're abnormal, but explain to them that what you're trying to accomplish in life is abnormal. <clears throat> By engaging in the activities of the work, in fact, you are already engaging and enjoying the results of your goals. So think about the goals that you've set for the 28-day shred. You're enjoying the, the results of those goals already, already. So see the value in the moment. Doesn't it make sense to enjoy and recognize the process of the shred rather than look at all this time, all of this effort, right? If you're attached to the outcome, sometimes the value of the process will, will you know, like we have this, as humans, we have this whole return on investment thing. What's my return on investment, right? Oh, I think I'm gonna get it done under 15 minutes today. Um, so look at all this time, work and sacrifice dedicated for a future outcome. Folks, you're in this present moment right now and you are winning. You are winning. And, and here's, the, here's the other thing about the outcome. If you're only focused on the outcome of the 28-day shred, then you'll be that person that thinks that the outcome means that you can take a break, you can do a cheat day, and you can stop the process, right? So the way I look at it is that whole peak-to-peak -peak idea. The outcome of every day, it gives me the ability, here's more value in the process, the outcome of every day that I'm in the process gives me the ability to see the next outcome. So. What I did in the January 28th, it gave me the ability to see the potential and possibility of what I'm accomplishing now. I went out to dinner last night and it was an all you can eat deal, you know, price fixed and stuff and it was expensive and you know, I'm, I'm in the shred. So I ended up spending way too much money on like my little lean and green meal. Um, so I looked at that and I said, man, I just made an investment, right? I spent money, I made an investment in my health. So really, really focus on the outcome. I mean, the, uh, the process today. So look at your outcome and goals in life today. Here comes the challenge. And see that by putting the work in with consistency, you're already, you already are the outcome. You are the outcome today. Because you, you are, remember I said every day we get to define who we are and what our existence represents. So by doing the things, by putting the work in, by getting up earlier, and by going to the gym and eating on program and all that stuff, you represent the outcome. You are the person that is engaged in the process of the outcome and it's the best part. It's the best part. It's never good enough at the end when we get on the scale and we get the victory and all that stuff. You are in the best part right now. That'll be fun too. So look at the wonderful things that you are doing every day now and acknowledge your process with an I am statement. So here's your challenge today. I want you to recognize who you are today in the shred, in, in, the, in the game of life. So here's a couple of ideas. I am getting up early, right? You, all of you that are on here right now, you can say that. I am getting up early. I am exercising on a regular basis. I am fueling my body. My body is my temple. I am fueling my body. Andrew Schultz, I am being an Optavian. Yeah, that's great. Hey, Wynn Calgill, represent, represent. I am representing myself today. I am running with a group of like-minded people. Think about it. I am, I am being a good person. I am following through. What is your I am statement? And let's embrace today that we are in the process and the process is the best part because the process is where most of the time is spent and it's also everything involved in the outcome. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm, I'm constantly looking for reasons to continue um, to honor myself and get out of bed and I just realized that the outcome is not enough. For me so today i see the value in the process love and appreciate you 15 minutes
Drink your water today, folks. Right now. Get it down. Just take it down right now. You'll be ahead of everything.